horses are some of the hardest working animals in the country, but the drought has forced many graziers to seek help for their legendary bushmates, and it's been left to a struggling woman from the city to answer their calls for help. Sharon Sparks has put her life on hold to save the lives of dozens of horses. And as Chris Simmons reports, this amazing woman now faces her biggest challenge. They all love you, don't they? Oh, they're, they're sweethearts. They, they know who feeds them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's a bit more than that. Sharon Sparks is a girl who just can't say no. Her devotion to horses led to the establishment of this part-time sanctuary for the sick, the neglected and the retired. Now, with the nation in the grip of a drought, farmers are pleading with Sharon to take their horses rather than put them down. It's a tough call for a single mum with limited finances. I've just opened my door and... Uh, How many have you got now? 29. 29. I do. You shake hands, do you? He <laughs> does shake hands. He does. He's one of the old retired horses. Right. We don't In addition to the waifs and strays, there are at least eight Andalusian horses she cares for. All of them retired performers from their heyday in the 1980s and 90s at El Cabello Blanco, where Sharon was one of the riders. Sydney's premier tourist attraction and the world-renowned El Cabello Blanco dancing stallion. After closing down in 1998, El Cabello Blanco has become a ghost town. Until the site is sold, Sharon lives here by arrangement with the owners, in exchange for looking after its former stars, many of them now with crippling conditions. You can see here with his back legs how big they are. That's all arthritis uh, in, in his joints. It's a seven day a week commitment, isn't it? It is, yes. That's, um, I don't know how to tell you, but it just gives you unsurmountable amounts of joy to walk out and see these horses uh, happy and healthy and fat when it, it could have been a different story altogether. We've got a couple of friends here. Do you want to introduce me? Okay. This little one is a, a racehorse, a retired racehorse. She's only a young baby girl. Right. Each week, Sharon struggles as yet another new arrival joins her fold. Her troop now includes eight horses from drought-ravaged farms. You just can't say no, can you? Uh, <laughs> could you? <laughs> but, I mean, what happens when it gets up to sort of 30 or 40 horses? It's going to be impossible for you, isn't it? Um... No, because I'm going to be doing this job with Equitana. Go. To help pay the bills, Sharon performs at horse shows with her trio, Bizarro, named after her stallion that died of cancer earlier this year. Forward into circle, Jill. Forward into circle now. Yep. From November the 21st, they will appear at Equitana, Australia's largest horse expo Olé! in Brisbane. Everything she earns from her shows around Australia goes to looking after her ever-increasing family and all their needs. What happens if, as a result of this story, a lot of farmers out there are going, we don't know what to do with Dobbin, we'll give her a ring, and you could find yourself inundated with dozens and dozens more horses. What are you going to do? I just ask them to send down a truckload of hay with them, and I'll look after them. I just need hay. Is that an invitation? Oh. Um, <laughs> oh. My heart's as big as my mouth. I've been told that quite a few times, and I've just said it to you, so... Anyone that needs my help, I'm there. I'm there for the horses. Sharon knows she'll have to move her brood from here when the property's sold. But to where, she has no idea. And with no funds, the future looks bleak. All she knows is she'll never abandon her friends. I've got to do it for the horses' sake because I'm their voice. It's so beautiful. And I'll be back with more of Today Tonight after this short break. <laughs>